welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing the different drive modes offered in the 2015 through 2021 Mustang. Without further ado, let's go. All right, so if you have a premium S550 Mustang 2015 through 2021, they're all pretty much the same in this regard. Um, you're going to have the little uh, fighter pilot looking switches underneath your AC controls right here. You have a mode option, you have a steering wheel uh, sensitivity kind of dampening control there. Um, you'll have your traction control and uh, hazards if you uh, are feeling hazardous. First mode you're gonna start out with, which is pretty self-explanatory, is normal mode. Normal mode is for when you're feeling normal. You don't wanna feel, you don't wanna accelerate too hard. You don't wanna be, you want to be normal. That's about all I got for normal mode. We could probably just end the video there, right? Normal mode. Done. But if you are not normal and you want to be a little bit more, uh, I don't know, sporty, the next mode you have is Sport Plus. Sport Plus does a couple different things. One, it's going to firm up the steering so it feels more sporty. The second thing it's gonna do is make the transmission a lot more responsive. It's gonna shift a lot quicker. And then you also get a sharper pedal feel as well. So there's a bunch of stuff it's doing in the background to adjust that. And uh, personally, Sport Plus is uh, my favorite mode to drive around in. It takes a little getting used to, especially if you're putting around town. Um, you know, then you might wanna be in a normal mode because it does shift pretty aggressively. But for me, I really like that mode. And we cannot forget about track mode. Track mode is the next option you have, which this is very similar to Sport Plus. However, it's gonna turn off the basic level of traction control for you. Um, it doesn't disable traction control completely. You're gonna have to do another little trick, which I'll explain at the end of the video uh, of how to do that. Uh, but it's an awesome option if you are driving on a track. Now, me, I don't take my car to the track. I don't drive on the track. I've experimented around with that drive mode, and frankly, there's not a whole lot of difference between that and Sport Plus to me. Um, you know, you could turn off the traction control if I really wanted to, and that would give me the same same thing. So, but if you're on a track, it probably probably does something for you. And of course. If you are taking the car to a drag strip, you're going to need drag strip mode. Ford has thought of that already, of course. And they give you a mode that's after track mode called drag strip mode. Now, this one has got to be one of the most fun modes that uh, I've played around with in this car. The pedal feel is is quite a bit different from all the other modes. You're gonna have like real dead pedal like for the majority of that travel there, but as soon as you get to like three quarters travel, this thing picks up, it shifts extremely hard, and uh, and there's the basic level of traction control um, that's, that's wiped away as well. I don't think it takes off advanced track, uh, which I'll show you again at the end of this video. But drag strip mode is definitely my favorite by far. Uh, the shifts, they do. They put you back in your seat a little bit. Um, it shifts very aggressively. This is not a mode you're gonna be using to drive around with every single day. This is if you're gonna wanna get your zero to 60 runs in, you're at a drag strip, or uh, just wanna have a little fun with the car. So that's drag strip mode and I love it. And if you are living in a colder climate or you're just giving the car to your grandmother to drive in a massive snowstorm to church on Sundays, you might want to use snow and wet mode. Um, that's another option we have here. Uh, frankly, I've never really used it. I tried it, tried it out for the video, and really it just makes the, the throttle uh, much less sensitive. So if you are, if you're in driving your Mustang in the snow, which Probably not the best idea, but hey, we gotta do what we gotta do sometimes. I'm not judging anybody. If I was still living in Wisconsin and I had this car, it would be daily driven and I would have to drive it. 
in the snow, but it probably wouldn't go very well. Snow and wet, not a whole lot to explain there. You know, she makes it a little bit more boring, a little bit easier to manage in uh, the, the colder, wetter climates. That's pretty much all I got for you on that one. <laughs> but circling back, um, you know, with the uh, different sport modes you have <clears throat> on the premium, even if you have just the standard base, you still have an option on the uh, the actual gear selector. You'll have your PRNDS, and that S stands for sport. The only thing that sport mode on the gear selector doesn't do is change the feel of the steering wheel. I think everything else feels the same as Sport Plus to me. I kind of like just that one button, Sport Plus. I like the weightier steering feel. Uh, so I choose that most of the time. But if it's easier for you and you like normal mode on the steering, you know, grab the gear selector, pop it into Sport mode. You get pretty much the same thing as Sport Plus. All right, another thing to talk about though is the paddle shifters. I have these paddle shifter extensions on the car, which I've done a video on uh, in the past. Link it up here. Um, these are nice, I like these so far. I'll include my little update right now. I think uh, they have held up thus far and uh, they feel pretty good. They feel pretty good. So I'd recommend them. They were a cheap little, little add on, so. Not too bad, but if you want to use these paddle shifters, you can be in any mode you want, downshift, uh, downshift or upshift, in any of the any of the modes you'd like, and it will respond. Uh, the only thing is that the computer is still monitoring that. Um, so after about 10, 10 seconds or so, the uh, the computer will take back over control of uh, selecting gears, and you won't be you won't have to worry about. Um, shifting with the paddles any longer all right guys i figured it would just be a lot easier for me to show you in the car um the paddle shifters and kind of how to use them and where you can see right now we're in seventh gear so being in sport mode on the shifter and uh and being engaged in this paddle shifters here uh now the gears are all all yours you can choose what you want to do what gear you want to be in the car will not have any say on that um, unless you start coming down to a stop it still will save you from stalling out the cars maybe this is your first time you know using paddle shifters maybe this is your first time um, controlling the gears on your own at all um, see so you're coming to a stop right now so let me go down a couple gears third gear second gear and so the important thing to note here is when you're in second gear you can actually come to a stop uh, completely out of light and take off from second gear you're probably not going to do that too often taking off from second gear but you can do it uh, the computer will let you do it uh, the nice thing about going to a stop in second gear is that it's far less jerky uh, than trying to get down to first gear before you come to a stop. I'd say don't try to shift down into first gear unless you're like under eight miles an hour, maybe even under five miles an hour to be honest with you, uh, because it just gets super jerky uh, coming down and uh, I don't like it. If you're new to paddle shifting, this is gonna be down shifting, this is up shifting plus and minus, you can kind of see that, and that correlates to the gears. So I'm in seventh gear right now. I'm gonna downshift to sixth, to fifth, and maybe even to fourth, and I'm gonna get on it. And I'm gonna blur that out. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, but yeah, you can see, so, Really, a lot of people are gonna ask, so when do you shift? Do you shift at, you know, 6,000 RPM every single time? No, you're not gonna wanna shift. You're not gonna wanna redline the car every single time. Um, hopefully never redline the car. But let's say if you're just casually driving, maybe you wanna shift around 3,000 RPMs. So, you know, I'm, I'm coming to a stop now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna decelerate here and I'm gonna downshift. So I'm in sixth gear. 
think we're gonna be, oh, we'll stay straight. Oh my God, do you see what's above us here? Look at that truck. I bet I'm in fourth. Let me go down to third. All right, so now I'm in third. And we're gonna be stuck behind this huge truck, so that's gonna be perfect. And it's 50 miles an hour in here, so it's a good thing we're doing 35, maybe 40. Are those chickens? Oh my freaking God, those are chickens. Oh my God, it's probably going to one of the plants. That's, that's sad, we, we probably shouldn't. Uh, but I do like my chicken tenders. So, unexpected part of the video. All right, so we're in fourth gear. We're gonna come down to third gear right now. And we're gonna go down to second gear, which will bring us to about 2,000 RPMs. And you can see I'm shifting around, you know, 3,500 RPMs, nothing crazy. There's actually a lot of deer over in this area, so I'm not gonna be stupid about it here. But yeah, so if you're just starting off with the paddles and getting used to it, I'd recommend shifting around 3,000 RPM and uh, and testing that out and seeing how, how you like it. If you want to go up and you want to floor the car and uh, get moving, uh, then I'd say shift around like 5,500, maybe 6,000. Um, if your car is stock, usually you'll run out of out of torque here at, at around, um, 5,000, you know, 5,500 RPMs anyway, so you'll probably want to shift around there anyway, but we're kind of climbing the hill. We're just at 3,000 RPMs, just hanging out. Going around the bend, we're going to upshift, or downshift, excuse me, fourth. It's a lot of fun, man. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to have control over your own gears like that. And I think the Mustang does a pretty darn good job with the 10 speed automatic transmission. Um, it's a little, you know, a little clumsy sometimes, but other times it does really well. Guys, one thing I didn't mention in the last clip is please do not lug the vehicle here. And what I mean is if you are cruising down the road and let's say you're under 2000 RPMs and you're cruising down the road and you're in sport mode, the paddle shifters are selected, um, you have full control over the uh, selection of the gears, right? Do not just floor the car or start accelerating really hard under 2000 RPMs. It's really not good for these engines and there's been some horror stories of folks who have done that uh, in manual transmissions, less in automatics, but it's still a risk uh, when you're shifting yourself, right? So I would suggest that if you're really getting on it to pass somebody, do not just put your foot to the floor uh, if you're under 2000 RPMs. Make sure you downshift and you, you, you get above 2,000 RPMs uh, before you, you really get into the throttle on this one. And that's gonna help save uh, your engine and make sure it lasts for a very long time. All right, guys, so uh, the last thing on the list here is turning off the advanced traction control system. And you're gonna do that by reaching down to the center console here, and you're gonna be holding the traction control button just like this, for 10 seconds. You're gonna hold the traction control up like that for 10 seconds, or roughly thereabout. And at that point, you're gonna get a little notification on this little screen in the center of your gauge cluster, and it's gonna say advanced track off. And uh, that is gonna allow you to do the slippy, slippy, slidey, slidey, if you so want to. Be careful because there is no traction control uh, enabled then at that point and the car is not going to save you if you make a mistake but uh just thought i would throw that in there and add a disclaimer just in case anyone slams into a curb i've never done that i almost slammed into a curb once trying it but not a big deal
Well guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope that this was a little bit informative at the very least. Hope it helped somebody out there. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you like the video and you wanna see more content like this. Um, and if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. That really helps me out and lets me know that you guys like what we're doing over here. So uh, if not, you can, uh, you can tell me that too. Sad day. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and uh, until the next one, I will catch you later. Bye.